I'm going to give you uh, the following objective. Exponent more complex rules and introduction to polynomials since you have a whole learning system polynomial. Okay. But first I'm going to uh, finalize uh, uh, to talk briefly about complex rules of the exponent. This is the product of two variables, right? Look, if I raise this product to the uh, uh, power of n, and this rule, this is more complex rule, this rule simply saying that if you have the product, we have here two factors, or two multipliers, or two variables. So that is, according to this rule, you have to raise to the power of n each factor. Since we have here two factors, right? So that means we have to raise the first factor to the power of n as well as the second factor to the power of n. So, so you see, this is the rule. Actually, this is the formula. This is identity. So that means we have the right hand side and left hand side. They are identical. So that means if you have a problem where you are supposed to simplify, and this is given to you in the form like uh, this right hand side, so you may simplify it getting the left hand side. Or if this product is given to you and you need to simplify it and further uh, to uh, make your computation, right, to get numerical answer, so you can use the right hand side formula. I'm going to give you an example. Like, for instance, 10a to the second power multiply 10x to the second power raised to the second power. So look, left hand side of this identity is so, according to this rule, I can write it as it is. The first factor is 10 itself, right? Mm -hmm. 10 to the second power, and then the second factor is variable. X to the second power raised to the second power. And you already uh, know this rule. This is power to power rule, right? If you, uh, if you are raising power, to the second power, so that means you have to multiply the exponent, correct? And 10 to the second power, this is simple computation, right? This gives us 100, right? So what we have? 100 a to the fourth power, correct? So in terms of the, uh, uh, if I put my objective but like the first objective but like more complex exponent rule exponent rule. So in terms of the complexity, I wouldn't describe, I wouldn't define this rule as a complex rule, right? So that means uh, uh, the complexity is here. That means we are applying the exponent rule for, for each variable. But in fact, we have a product, right? So now, how about uh, if I write the question a over b raised to the power of n. So according to this, if we uh, extend this rule, the product rule, and since the equation division is the inverse operation, right? So we can uh, extend this rule and write that uh, this question rule raised uh, this. This is rational expression actually itself, right? Division, right? So if this uh, rational expression raised to the power of f, so I can write it as it is. The fraction 
and bar. Numerator raised to the power of n. And denominator raised to the power of n. And since here we are dealing with the variable, and variable, uh, it can be any real number, right? So that means we have to put a restriction here that b is not equal to 0, right? If b is equal to 0, so what could be happen to our uh, uh, rational expression? Yeah. We cannot divide by 0, right? And how about this? Look, an example I can give it to you. Like 2 over a cube raised. I can't see because the podium. I can put this example. <laughs> <laughs> but, 2 over a cube raised. To the fifth power, right? So what happened? Well, how we can apply this rule? So that means the delta numerator raised to the uh, fifth power. That means two to the fifth power, and denominator is a a q to the fifth power a q to the fifth power. 2 to the 6th power, that means 2 multiplied by 2, 5 times, right? Uh, 2 multiplied by 2, by 2, by 2, 5 times, gives us what? 32, right? 2 to the 4th power is 16, remember this is all. So that means this is like a 6th power, so that means 60 multiplied by 2 gives you so 2 to the 6th power uh, gives you 64, 2 to the 7th power gives you 128, 2 to the 8th power gives you 256, and so on. So that means it's like 3 uh, uh, turn for you, 2 to the 4th power, remember, this is forever, this is And from, from uh, that 6th point, you can make all your computations, right? So this is 32. And how about this denominator part? This is power a to the 15. This is we are applying here the uh, exponent rule, power to power rule. So that means we have to multiply the form a to the 15. And how about one more rule? This is the third rule. a over b is the exponent of negative n. Look, we have the following rule. Look, if we have here negative n, right? Negative n. So based on this rule, what I'm supposed to, to write? A is the exponent of negative n, right? And B is the exponent of negative n. But a negative exponent gives you what? You can write this as uh, the positive exponent. Huh? On this side, what we have? 1 over a is the exponent of n, right? This is, we change this to the positive. So the, uh, the positive exponent rule says, this is immediately, you can write as a rational expression, numerator all these ones. And denominator, the same uh, power, the same base, all the exponent is positive, right? So uh, remember this. All right. So and b this negative n exponent also gives you one over b with the exponent n as positive, right? So this is class b uh, construction, right? So I can write this division as it is. So I'm going to put here arrow one over a. With the exponent of n divided by 1 over b with the exponent of n. And here, what we are supposed to do? Just do cross multiply, right? So, what we have? 